What's going on guys, Zenos here and today let's discuss about the guide on Water Dungeon, Water Awakening Dungeon or Abysmal Awakening Dungeon 11th floor and 12th floor, alright. So this can actually be a very big problem for the beginners so I am gonna sort out like what are the basic requirements that you really need to achieve in order to get into 11th floor and 12th floor and tips and tricks about it, alright. So now let's get into the topic right away. First of all, whenever you are in the awakening water awakening dungeon, 11th floor and 12th floor, they will really demand you to have a team only composing of the support servants. Now that is a huge limitation guys. Okay, you cannot bring your DPS servant right in here or your tank or your healers. Okay, and the thing is that like you really need a total of 4 support servants or else you cannot participate in this battle. Now that makes a big limitation. So you will need to make this 4 servants, okay, of support class. And now, how to actually achieve this CP level? Meaning, it says four support servants with 7000 CP or more. Okay, so that is the thing, guys. Okay, if it is not, uh, you know, like uh, followed through it, then you won't be able to participate in this battle. So, I am gonna teach you guys on how to actually get a 7000 CP. Okay, first of all, guys, it's actually pretty easy to get 7000 CP. Uh, the first thing that you really need to do is you need to uh, take or upgrade your servants to 6 star at least okay take them to 6 star and then the second thing please uh, try to awaken them by at least first awakening okay and that will really do really nice to them and next thing is that guys please gear them up pretty nicely okay any decent gears would be really good five star or six star gears it really doesn't matter that much okay six star gears would be really great than compared to five star gears obviously so if you have the chance to put the six star gears then that would be really great uh, anyways, this game is really uh, generous in providing epic gear select ticket here and then, you know, like through shops and everything like that. So please, you know, like utilize that uh, generosity, okay? And next thing is, guys, uh, what sort of substats and primary stats that you should focus on your gears, okay? When you are talking about the weapon, the shirt, and the pants, the primary stat really doesn't matter because they are flat stats. But when you are talking about the substats, guys, okay, or additional stats, you don't need to have have like these substats on your gears okay first of all speed boost okay which is really important for the support servants second thing is HP percentage boost third thing defense percentage boost fourth thing accuracy percentage boost and fifth maybe resist percentage boost all right so these are the five stats that you can actually seek through for your support servants okay and uh, when you are talking about the gloves and the uh, necklace, please go with the speed stat as the primary stat. This will really give a huge boost of speed to your support servants and obviously good CP as well. And when you are talking about the helmet, uh, Let's go with the HP percentage boost, alright? HP percentage boost will actually do the better justice, okay? A greater justice to your support servants, alright? And it's also it's also mentioned right over here. Let's just look at that. Recommended HP 25,000 or higher. So this uh, particular battle actually is uh, recommending you guys to focus on HP, right? So that is the thing, right? And next thing is, when you are talking about the shoes, please go with the accuracy per percentage boost, okay? Uh, I gave him defense percentage boost right over here, but it should be accuracy percentage boost because your support servants really have a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, debuff or dispel uh, spells with them, okay? Or skills with them that can actually uh, cripple down the units really easily, okay? So that's why accuracy per percentage boost will be really good for the shoes or else you can actually go with the SP percentage this boost as well if you are looking for greater survivability or endurance all right when you are talking about the ring guys you can select between the uh hp percentage boost or accuracy percentage boost but hp percentage boost will be really really good in the ring department okay so please try to go with that one so these are the type of gears that you should really focus on your uh support servants so that they can have higher cp okay uh just like that and now let's see what type of servants will actually be amazing for this kind of thing okay what particular servants will really do good obviously our uh, 
uh, main opponent right away is of water element right so if you bring the forest type element of your servants then that would be pretty 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 good because like they will have higher chance to land the critical hit rate and they can deal a lot more damage and stuff like that right and more an elemental advantage so those are the things that you can get with the forest type of support servants you can also bring water uh, servants but they will have like normal effect against this uh, water scariot uh, whereas uh, if you bring the fire just like me obviously you are gonna suffer some some of the consequences because of the glancing hit rate okay and what particular servants would be really amazing for battling against this kind of uh, opponents okay uh, first thing first guys support servants means you have the choice to actually I mean like you have the option to bring those type of support servants who really do excel on inflicting the dot damages okay damage over time now you those kind of units are gonna be pretty pretty amazing okay now let's look into this one first of all fire blavatsky even though she is a fire element why why have i really brought her here because of her dot uh prowess okay uh, she has two dots on her second skill okay light and dark which is so amazing against the water scariot he kind of glance hit rate this one guys i mean like light and dark is pretty amazing but for the first skill yes it actually bypasses because it's a fire dot okay so most of the time that water scariot is actually gonna glance hit rate okay so that's the thing guys and when you are actually gonna talk about this uh, other units water halal is pretty great as well so when we look into our uh, water halal let's look into her fast skill in first skill you can see right over here 70 percent chance to deal water damage over time to the enemy for 15 seconds okay which is pretty amazing guys uh if you have this kind of dot skills going on uh it will be really easy to take down the water scarier right off the bat okay uh water dot uh forest dot uh light dot and the dark dot are the one that is going to be really effective against him and there is another particular unit known as uh, forest letter okay guys uh, forest letter is gonna be pretty amazing because forest letter also excels in inflicting the dot okay she has like a forest dot and she has a light dot okay so uh, she can also be a pretty viable unit against this one so these are the dot units that you really need to have in your team in order to gain uh, you know like a little bit more advantage than compared to any other unit uh, other support units out there although you can take any uh, any maxed out support units okay but the battle is gonna be quite lengthy because this water scarier he has a lot of HP guys he has a lot of HP okay so that can actually be a very big problem and dot damages makes it very very easy to take down the high uh, you know like high HP bosses okay so now let's get into the battle uh, so uh, after getting into the battle we can easily see right over here that we will be fighting against this water scariot yes his name is scariot all those are scariots in the awakening dungeons okay wow it's actually taking some time holy crap okay so and the main key over here is to do some manual control if possible okay i mean like if you have time if you can do it do a manual uh, thing because like you really want to focus on these dot skills okay so obviously it's a fire element type for my uh, you know uh, fire blavatsky that's why it will be really hard for her to proc that you know dot right over there but for water uh, water halil she was able to do it pretty nicely okay so that's pretty great uh, so please try to manually control it uh, so that like you have a higher chance to actually proc the dot dot skills Okay, let's see if she can proc it right now. Yes, she did proc. Just look at that guys Under the bar. Okay, so those are two dot skills that will really make the life of this carrier very short in very short period of time Okay, so those are the things guys. Just look at his HP how fast it is actually going down Okay, just look at that guys. Just look at that Okay, so uh, second skill of your fire Blavatsky and that will be the first skill of your water Halil. Okay, so water Halil, I really have not focused much on her accuracy maybe but I have not skilled her uh, first skill to the max. That's why it's kind of a little bit hard for my water Halil to proc that you know uh, that that the water dot 
but you know it's okay in due time in due time she will be good with it so this that's the thing and another thing that guys that i would really want to share with you guys is that if the servant that has inflicted the dot on the opponent dies let's say if my five Lavatsky dies uh, the what the light and the dark dot that she has inflicted on the opponent will not do any damage okay now that is a weird problem guys even though he has that debuff that debuff will do no more damage to him okay so it it is also very very important for you guys to make sure that your servant especially this fire blavatsky and water halal to survive okay during the entire battle to make your dot effective if they die that means your dot is not gonna deal any more damage okay that is a big 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 problem okay and now when we are moving into the 12th floor now what to do right over here first thing first guys it is actually asking now 13,000 CP instead of 7,000 CP, which is humongous, okay? It will actually take you some time in order to build up this one. First of all, what you really need to do is now you need to transcend your support units at least once, okay? That will make it quite easier for you to attain 13,000 CP and awaken, the, awaken them to at least 30 stays, okay? Please awaken them to at least 30 stays that will make it much easier and now when it comes to gears guys you now you need to be a little bit more picky guys okay you need to only select the six star gears the six star gears are the way to go if you really want to have higher cp six star gears really provide you with higher uh, uh stat boost all right and you know like the primary star and the secondary stars are pretty much the same that as i told you before okay i will say it again the gloves and necklace speed boost uh when it comes to the helmet and the ring please go with the hp percentage boost and when you have the shoes please go with the accuracy percentage boost especially your daughters because the daughters will actually really need a lot of accuracy to inflict that dot damages on the uh scariot, okay so accuracy really does matter a lot as well and uh, as for substats guys you have to go with a defense percentage boost hp percentage boost speed boost accuracy percentage boost all right and the resist percentage boost all right so those are the four substats that you really need to focus on or else you are gonna have a pretty hard time and try to really focus on them really nicely okay and now let's get into the battle okay so let's do the 12 for battle i am gonna show you how hard it is but still it's possible to do if you have daughters guys and it's a little bit rng factor as well because like you really need to be very efficient when you are doing that okay so let's try to do this second thing okay oh wow she was able to uh she managed to do that you know that that uh that that light dot i think that's no that's the dark dot dark dot okay so that's pretty good and uh uh the another thing that i would really like to give you guys is that the, you know another thing that i really wanted to discuss was what was it what was <laughs> i kind of just forget i just had it in mind damn it okay i'm gonna share it when i actually remember back okay so just keep on uh inflicting that dot over and over again okay so you will need to focus on the uh defensive skill as well because he really hits hard or and your fire uh you know like blavatsky can actually die out really fast okay so you really need to make sure that you have water hail <laughs> water hail has this like you know the sealed skill okay on her second skill and also the health boost okay so uh that will really help you to survive in the battle much further and if you can actually proc the uh you know this combo skill that will be even much better okay so those are the things that you really need to keep in mind in this thing survive okay the surviving is the in, is the main key right over here because like if your dot servants die which my you know like 
5 Blavatsky is near uh, meaning like her HP is now nearly at like 50% okay as you can see right over here so guys uh, I will need to provide her with a lot of shields a lot of defense okay in order to make her really viable for this thing okay but thing is that like we are very near we are very near okay we actually did we actually have already done uh, enough damage in order to bring her bring that bring that scarier down so let's do it let's do it let's do it yes we did it guys Woohoo! even 12 floor we were able to get him down okay thanks to these daughters okay especially my fire blavatsky she was really able to deal those dots okay whereas my water ll she wasn't able to proc any dot for this stage but her second skill really helped to uh make my whole team survive especially my fire blavatsky which who was nearly at the verge of death okay so that is the thing guys because if my fire blavatsky would have been dead her dot would uh, be would have been of no use guys okay and that is a very big problem that i really don't want to take and most of the time you might even actually have to spend 30 carats okay to continue with your battle so that you can get that supreme awakening stone so that you can uh, awaken your water servants much faster okay so those are the things that you really need to keep in your mind and the next thing is that guys let's look into the let's look into the uh the 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 uh the where where is that where is that where is that oh man okay so that okay <laughs> thing is that like when you are talking about the team passive as well most of the support servants really do have defensive team passive okay that you really need to focus on okay uh, try to focus on the team passive that really allows you to have higher HP or maybe even higher accuracy higher HP is gonna be really good because like you really need a lot of survivability when you are trying to fight against the 12th floor because he does really hits hard defense boost or HP boost team passive is gonna be really really good okay so let's see like which support servant he uh, have our you know like passive boost okay uh, looking into the team passive of our fire spiegel it's only for the guild so and that's attack boost not really that good right not really that good so let's get into the another one I'm so sorry guys I was re I really did skip that one out a little bit earlier I was not able to uh, you know like mention that uh, a little bit earlier C is for the PvP and we have fire Blavatsky I think uh, the skill that the team passive that we used was of fire Blavatsky because her team passive actually provides HP of all element allies increases by 45% at dungeon now this is the really good type of team passive that you want to trigger okay so make sure that you have a really good team passive that will really allow your servants to have higher HP boost and obviously this will also have a good impact on your recommendation HP pool as well when you are trying to fight against 11 floor and 12 floor uh, Iscariot master okay Yes, his name is Scariot. You can see right over here. Okay, you might be wondering like what Scariot really is. It's the name of this opponent. Wherever you go, it's the Flame Scariot. This is the Water Scariot or Abyssmill Scariot. This is the Verdant Scariot. Okay, those are the things, guys. So this is pretty much it, guys. I hope I have uh, covered up much of the contents in this video. If I have forgot to mention anything about of some sort of like situations please let me know in the comment section below i would really be happy to uh you know like cover about it okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video